All right, we're going to start by talking about slope fields a little bit. Uh, for today, eh, I might go ahead and get into one of the other ones that has x and y. But for today, we're going to use just one variable. Variable is x. And we're going to talk a little bit about the family of equations, which are possible answers to a differential equation. So what's a differential equation? It's an equation that's written as a derivative. So in this particular case, differential equation f prime of x is equal to 3. So let's think about this for a minute. What this means is the derivative is equal to 3 everywhere. Huh, what does that mean? For each x and y value, and for right now I haven't even put in my y tick marks, and maybe I will uh, at a later time, but I think you're going to get the idea just from x values here. But for each x I put in, uh, the y value uh, in this particular case of the derivative is always 3. So again, what does that mean? It means the slope is always 3 everywhere. So 3 over 1, 3 over 1, 3 over 1. For every x value and every y value, the slope is 3 over 1. So basically, if we drew any one graph through here, it would just be a linear equation of slope 3 over 1. Let's look at something maybe a little more interesting. If we look at f prime of x is equal to negative 2x. All right, so now let's talk about the critical values here. We'll set that equal to 0. And that would be negative 2x is equal to 0. And we'll solve that. And that's x is equal to 0. This is where we're going to find horizontal tangents. At x is equal to 0, everywhere, there's horizontal tangents. So if you'll look down through here, I've drawn short little horizontal lines everywhere where x is 0. Now we can go just what we did with the increasing and decreasing uh, intervals before. So we let that critical point determine our interval, and we have negative infinity to zero and zero to infinity. If we pick a test point, I pick ne negative one and positive one. If we pick a test point and plug them into the derivative, we find out that the derivative is positive anywhere left of um, the critical point of zero, and the derivative is negative any point to the right of the critical point of zero. So we get this across in slopes. So to the right here, at our x value of one, we made negatively sloped lines. Okay. As we go farther and further out, these actually are still negatively sloped, but they become more negatively sloped. And let me see if I can point this out. Obviously, 0 squared is 0. All right. All right. Obviously, negative 2 times 0 is 0. Now, the slope here at 1 is negative 2 because negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. The slope out here is negative 4 because negative 2 times 2 would be negative 4. The slope out here would be negative 6. So each subsequent one, the farther we get away from the critical point, is going to get steeper. By the same token, let's look over here. F negative 1 was increasing because its value was greater than 0. So it's got a positive slope. If we actually plug the x value of negative 1 in, we'd get negative 2 times negative 1. That would be F prime of negative 1 would equal 2. So the slope of this line is actually 2 over 1, these green ones that I drew here. The slope of these next ones out here um, would be negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4, 4 over 1. These would be positive 6 over 1. So they get steeper and steeper as they go away from the uh, the critical point. So let's look at one more example. So another thing to do here is let's say we had f prime of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. We're going to set that equal to 0. We're going to factor it. We're going to find its critical points. Those are x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. This is where we'll find horizontal tangents. So again, we'll just cut to the chase here. As you can see, as x equals 2, I drew all my horizontal tangents, and at x equals negative 1, I drew all of my horizontal tangents. All right, what's happening on the intervals? So I set up the intervals, negative infinity to negative 1, negative 1 to 2, and 2 to infinity. And I plugged in some test points. I found out that f prime of negative 2 was greater than 0, so that would be increasing. f prime of 0, this middle interval here, is going to be decreasing. And f prime of 3, a representative from the far right interval here, is positive, so it, in so it increases again. So again, what it means is the outside of the first one is all positive. And then in between the two, it's all negative. And on the right side, again, it's all positive. So we would know we'd have some sort of degree three function that maxed first, dropped down, and then min second, and then rose back up. All right, so there's your idea of slope fields. Uh, we might take a look at one that has both X and Y into it, but I'll probably use a video for Khan Academy for that. Thanks.